Welcome back. We're live in Omaha, Nebraska, and we are speaking with Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, and now Vice Chair of Berkshire Hathaway. What you do do, Charlie, though, is you push Warren to go outside his investment strategy. Sometimes you recently got him to do something he doesn't like to do, and that is invest in a company he didn't fully understand, and that was the Chinese electric car company, BYD. Uh, how did you convince him, and, and was he resistant to putting money into that? Well, it's not his natural inclination, but uh, I didn't really convince him. The facts convinced him. What BYD has already done is ridiculously difficult to do, and they've done it anyway. So it, it's a very remarkable company, and I'll, Warren can see that from the numbers. I'll tell you, when Charlie came, he called me from Rochester, and he, he uh, was describing Wang Chun Fu, the fellow that runs it, and he said, he's another Henry Ford, and I didn't move. <laughs> he said, he's another Thomas Edison. I still didn't move. He said, he's another Bill Gates. I said, put me in. <laughs> <laughs> Although there's competitors now ramping up. And yeah. as you're familiar with, BYD, which is also on the West Coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? BYD is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? I have seen their car, yes. In fact, at the Berkshire Hathaway meeting, I saw their cars. Yeah. Well, they are on a different. They are on a di <laughs> Tell me why you're laughing. Um, you don't see them at all as a competitor. No. Why is that? I mean, they offer a lower price point. I, I don't. Th I don't think they have a great product. Why is that? Um, I, I don't think it's, it's particularly attractive. The technology is, is not very strong, um, and, and BYD as a company has pretty severe problems in their home turf in China. Right. Uh, so. I think they, th their focus is and rightly should be on making sure they don't die in China. Okay. What about for you? When are you going to turn around, turn a profit on Tesla? Well, we think probably 2013. Over the past decade, BYD has not only surpassed industry giants, but has notably overtaken Tesla to claim the title of the world's largest electric vehicle company by sales volume. With a record-breaking 526,000 battery-only electric vehicles sold in the fourth quarter of 2023 and an audacious proclamation as the world champion for new energy vehicles. The concentration of what they do is in mainland China, serving a domestic market where they make lots of different EV models. But the principal difference between BYD and Tesla is that it's at a lower price point. And one thing that BYD does that's very different from Tesla is that alongside battery electric cars, full plug-in battery electric, they also do plug-in hybrids where they sell many of them as well. So you're quite right to point out that in the fourth quarter, the final three months of 2023, BYD sold 526,409 fully battery electric cars, most of them in China. BYD has emerged as a formidable force in the global automotive market. While BYD's rivalry with Tesla has garnered considerable attention, the true impact of BYD's success may be felt closer to home for European car manufacturers. Despite currently having a more modest presence in Europe, BYD's rapid sales growth on the continent reflected in a staggering 1,300% year-on-year increase as of August suggests an impending shift in dynamics. As Chinese demand plateaus and global economic tides sway toward protectionism, BYD has unmistakably identified Europe as its next frontier for growth. So, in today's video, let's take a look into the rise of BYD overtaking the global EV market. When BYD was first established in 1995, its primary focus was on developing rechargeable batteries for electronic devices. The company was led by CEO Wang Chuanfu. The company made a name for itself in the early years of the industry by manufacturing batteries that were more affordable than imports from Japan. In 2003, BYD made a significant business expansion by joining the automotive sector. The acquisition of King Wang Auto, a state-owned automaker having financial issues, allowed for the realization of the strategy shift. The company's entry into the automotive market was a turning point that helped BYD reach new heights and forge its way in the rapidly evolving automotive sector.
In the late 2000s, BYD faced significant challenges in the rapidly expanding electric vehicle industry. Even though the company had previously achieved success in the field of rechargeable batteries, it faced significant obstacles while trying to establish itself in the rapidly changing electric car market. This was a time of fierce competition, unpredictability in technology, and an environment that required flexibility. Notwithstanding these issues, BYD received a substantial influx of funding that would be crucial in shaping its destiny. A prominent player in the investment industry, Warren Buffett, indicated a considerable interest in BYD in 2008. Buffett recognized BYD's dedication to electric vehicles and made a sizable $232 million investment in the firm. This cash infusion showed faith in BYD's capacity to navigate the complexities of the electric vehicle market in addition to providing a lifeline at a crucial time. Buffett's investment went beyond mere financial backing. It translated into the acquisition of a substantial 10% stake in BYD. This move not only bolstered BYD's financial standing, but also brought a level of credibility and endorsement from one of the most prominent investors globally. Buffett's strategic investment played a pivotal role in fortifying BYD's position, enabling the company to weather the challenges of the late 2000s and set the stage for its subsequent advancements in the electric vehicle industry. BYD deliberately positioned itself for significant growth amid the pandemic's global obstacles by utilizing important inventions and market triumphs. The BYD Han, a car that was introduced in 2020, was one of the main factors in BYD's notable recovery during this time. This model garnered popularity mainly due to the use of BYD's breakthrough blade battery. The blade battery, which is renowned for its high efficiency and safety characteristics, established BYD as a leader in the field of advanced electric car technology. As the pandemic unfolded, BYD's foresight in introducing the BYD Han and its innovative battery technology proved to be instrumental in capturing a growing market share. The vehicle's success, coupled with the inherent advantages of the Blade battery, contributed substantially to BYD's overall growth and market positioning during this challenging period. In a landmark achievement, BYD surpassed industry giant Tesla in the fourth quarter of 2023 to become the world's largest electric vehicle company by sales volume. This pivotal moment marked BYD's ascendancy to the forefront of the global electric vehicle market. The company, seizing the momentum of its remarkable sales performance, boldly declared itself the world champion for new energy vehicles. With a record-breaking 526,000 battery-only electric vehicles sold, BYD not only secured its status as a major player in the industry, but also demonstrated its ability to meet and exceed market demands on a global scale. This achievement underscored BYD's position as a leader in the new era of electric mobility and solidified its presence as a dominant force in the competitive landscape of electric vehicle manufacturing. BYD has demonstrated a strong dedication to developing a notable presence in the European market as seen by its impressive success. Sales have significantly increased since the company entered the European market, which is indicative of a successful plan to meet the region's rising demand for electric vehicles. In August, BYD's year-over-year -year sales increased by an astounding 1,300%, indicating an exceptional jump in the company's sales in Europe. This quick ascent demonstrates how well-received and popular BYD's electric vehicle options are among European customers. The BYD Auto 3, which is shown to be a remarkable performance and is reportedly the best-selling electric car in Sweden, has played a significant role in this success. The Auto 3's widespread appeal demonstrates BYD's capacity to match its product lineup to the tastes and needs of the European market. Chinese automaker BYD says it will build a new electric car factory in Hungary, becoming the first Chinese company to make cars in Europe. The new factory will be in the city of Seged, in the south of the country, where it's expected to create thousands of jobs. 
In April, BYD opened its first European bus factory in another Hungarian city. BYD has declared its plan to build a new factory in Hungary, further demonstrating its dedication to the European market. This calculated action highlights BYD's commitment to addressing the changing needs of European consumers in the long run, as well as its investment in regional manufacturing infrastructure. This move is indicative of the company's intention to increase production capacity and optimize operations. The affordability of BYD's vehicles is one of the main reasons for its success. BYD cars are far less expensive than their Western rivals, with an average price of $222,000 worldwide. Because of their reduced price, BYD automobiles are more affordable for a wider range of buyers, particularly those looking for affordable options in the electric vehicle market. BYD's sales have been significantly impacted by affordability, particularly in areas where cost-conscious consumers are giving preference to affordable yet environmentally friendly transportation options. Significant financial support from the Chinese government is partly responsible for BYD's tenacity in trying times. These financial incentives gave BYD the vital backing it needed to overcome obstacles in the business and during economic downturns. Indirectly helping consumers, government subsidies not only provide financial stability but also make BYD automobiles more affordable. Nonetheless, the dependence on subsidies highlights the significance of governmental actions in molding the prosperity of Chinese producers of electric vehicles. BYD stands out in the competitive landscape thanks to its vertical integration strategy. The company's dedication to doing everything internally, from creating software to producing batteries, exemplifies a thorough approach to production. BYD is able to exert more control over a number of manufacturing-related factors because to this vertical integration. In contrast to conventional automakers that might procure parts from outside vendors, BYD's internal resources offer adaptability, productivity, and the capacity to swiftly modify their operations in reaction to market demands. BYD has a distinct advantage in the market thanks to its history as a battery and technology business. This background has given them knowledge of vital parts of electric vehicles, namely lithium-ion batteries. Well, electric vehicles outsold diesel cars in Europe for the first time in June, as drivers make the change towards EVs. Chinese car makers, eager to capitalize on this surge, have set up shop in Belgium and across Europe. Alex Kadir reports from Brussels. Concerns have been raised about BYD and other Chinese electric vehicle EV manufacturers' growing influence in the European automobile market. Even though BYD is now less common in Europe than it is in China, the company's market share is growing at an alarming rate. Concerns about possible unfair competition are reflected in the European Commission's decision to launch an investigation. The investigation will focus on whether Chinese EVs, notably those made by BYD, have benefited from state subsidies that may be viewed as market distortions. European nations, led by France, have reacted proactively to the worry sparked by the flood of reasonably priced Chinese EVs. One significant move is the government's decision to stop subsidizing some Chinese EVs, particularly those made by BYD. The European Union EU, has also begun looking into the subsidies that China gives its electric vehicle EV producers. The EU's dedication to upholding fair competition and defending the interests of its own automobile industry is demonstrated by these initiatives. The uncertainty surrounding the protection of Europe's car industry is situated within the context of broader geopolitical dynamics, including American protectionism and intensified competition from Chinese manufacturers like BYD. BYD's CEO Wang Chuanfu rallying Chinese car manufacturers against foreign competitors reflects China's aspiration to establish a global presence in the automotive industry. The convergence of these factors suggests a complex and evolving landscape that has implications not only for Europe but for the global automotive market. With that, let's end the video. 
This is Visionomics, signing out.